Warning, this video contains scenes of animals being dispatched in the UK using legal limit air rifles. Do not watch if you may be offended. Go and watch Charlie Bit My Finger instead. Afternoon. It's uh, Sunday 31st of May. About, uh, about half past one, something like that. I've come out for a few hours on the farm again. With the rapid. 20 cal. Uh, tucked away in the hide at the minute. In the hedge, shooting out there at the power lines. Uh, if you saw any of that, but still, uh, <clears throat> it's a nice, bright, sunny day. A little bit of a breeze from uh, from right to left. I've managed to pop a couple. Actually, I cut out the car, and there's a couple of jackdaws that I managed to get before I even started. So, um, not bad. Um, Thanks to everybody for kind messages about the videos coming back again after last week. Um, it's been six months since I've made one, so what with the lockdown and the weather we had after Christmas, uh, back at it now anyway. Hopefully, the um, my rabbit permission is still under lockdown as of today, and the squirrel permission is at a large private house, so I've not gone there. Um, but that might change in the next few weeks. I might leave the squirrels till autumn anyway, because uh, it's somebody's large garden. I don't think they want me sat in it on nice summer warm evenings when they could be sat out. So I'll contact him and see what he wants me to do. Okay, let's see how I got on here for a bit in the afternoon. Lots of them about, they've all scattered since I've just walked down. But uh, let's see how I'll get on. I've got the uh, shop track fitted today on the XR, on the uh, rapid like i say in 20 cal perfect farmyard gun shoots nice and flat but a nice chunky pellet to uh, knock them down with i'm not a big fan of 177 on birds i have used it in the past but it just seems to get like passed through because they're quite a delicate creature they need something with a bit more of a blunt trauma to uh, do the damage in my opinion you have got your own opinion that's entirely up to you what you use but in my opinion, I prefer the larger, slightly larger caliber of the 20 on the birds. It seems to knock them over better, but that's just me. Other calibers are available, as we know. I'm not starting a debate about that now. Right, let's see how I get on and uh, speak to you soon. Now, these are the first two that I had when I got out of the car. And they weren't jackdaws, actually, they were crows. Uh, I'd park just behind this bit. One's on the wire. So I bagged him. And then I was just getting some more bits out of the car. And one landed on the, the uh, telephone line. So I thought it'd be rude not to. 40 yards. Got a nice shot that. If I do say so myself. Right, back into the hedge now. I've got one sat on the wire just where I want him. Perfectly on zero. Nice easy shot. And then they all start kicking off, squawking around. Just a quick uh, incidental about the kit I'm using. I'm using an ATN shot track, uh, which is a five times zoom fixed. Um, hunting camera and um, you can fix it on three sides at the minute it's actually upside down um, but I just use um, QuickTime on on the Apple computer to reverse the footage flip it back round again when it's on the when I get it out on the computer um, what I've done is to make it easier to switch it between guns or clip on and off is you get a Picatinny mount with it um, which bolts onto the side or top or so I've just shot one that's why they're kicking off <laughs> um, so what I've done is I've fitted a, a this is the original mount you get with it I've clamped it to one of the quick release mounts you can get off eBay for a few quid and then put one of the scope mounts on the on the scope so you can just clip it on and off whenever you want you can put one of these on each rifle 
and then when you're ready to start shooting just put it on and clip it on and it's on there ready for go and I'll just put some tape on the back um, or record and off because it's um, laser off record record and laser so I just flip between the two like that the light comes on it starts recording off quite an easy toggle switch to use I uh, just bought a 32 gig memory card for it and, uh, and that's it I'll take the card out at the end of the day and uh, there you go great little bit of kit they don't actually make them anymore as far as I know I think they've been discontinued but they do pop up on eBay there's a few for sale recently for about 80 quid and to be honest I think it's worth it it's worth that because say it's got a five times zoom on it so um, you don't have to sort of look at the uh, images and zoom them in on the computer if you want to make a video because most hunting cameras are sort of almost like a wide angle so uh, it looks like you're 300 yards away but this is five times zoom so pretty good right just thought i'd share that with you because i was asked about it right straight back at it this one's landed for a nosy look and down he goes like I say, dead straightforward there, about 35 yards with a 30 yard zero at that angle to the wire. Next one lands, and then I realise it's a collared dove, which has now been taken off the general licence, so don't shoot them if you see them. Another one come for a look. That'll give me a nice square on, chest shot, no problem, down it goes. Now I'm just trying to reload on an empty mag. It's a two times ten shot pneumatic ballistic reversible one, so I have to whip it out and turn it round and put it back in. Put the other ten on it. Now then, look at these pellet marks in this fence. Some handsome fool has been uh, pulling the trigger when he shouldn't have done. And now I'm just uh, playing twister, trying to climb into the hedge and lean through the fence to find out where this cackling magpie is, and there he is. About 40 yards away there. I just managed to lean on and get a steady shot on him. I hit him, he flies up and then drops. One or two on, one on the ground is a bit of a, a, uh, bit of an interest for him, but four or five on the ground is complete distraction, they don't want to know, so I'm going to pick them up now. Three rooks, uh, magpie, I thought I'd got that magpie actually. So I chuck these in the pile and go back in the hedge. That last couple, he lands, faces the wrong way, but there he goes, turn around, face me, takes one, square on. I don't like to shoot him from behind if I can help it. And get straight through to the engine room from the front and there's a rook come for a bit of a nosy and pays the price that's not a bad little afternoon for a few hours there we go again trying to put a dent in them again okay if you enjoyed that like subscribe and share take care of yourself and your families and i'll speak to you soon bye for now